pretty sure the python can smell that. I've always been a reptile lover since I was young. And um, when I heard that there were so many pythons out here in the Everglades, I figured, you know, I'll go ahead and have a little fun and at the same time try to protect the ecosystem, removing the pythons out of the Everglades. See, you have to walk down there, all along the edge. I go hunting everywhere that I'm allowed to. I have a permit, I'm a volunteer. Um, wherever Fish and Wildlife allows me to go in and hunt, I go and I remove the pythons out of there. Uh, I try to come out as, mu as many times as I can. I love being out here whether I catch a python or not. And I've had reptiles for like the past four and a half years. I have a couple of big constrictors, so I, I have a little knowledge of big snakes. I would never in my life kill a python. Every time I go hunting for Burmese pythons, I find uh, hunters out there in the areas, and when I tell them what I'm doing there, they tell me, get them all, kill them. They tell me they used to see rabbits and all these mammals around the area, now they don't see anything. And uh, it's basically the python, but you can't blame all that on the python. You also have people that come poaching for animals and so on. But, I mean, at the end of the day, the python cannot be here. If it stays here and it continues like this, we're gonna lose a lot of our native animals. So they have to be removed. You can remove 200 pythons, but remember, when you catch a big one, there's always a bigger one. And you have to focus on the big pythons because those are the ones that lay the most eggs. 90 eggs, more chances of hatchlings make it to a, making it to adulthood. You catch these little ones, you're not making no dent. And the, basically the bottom line is if the county, fish, fish and Wildlife, all these agencies don't work together, they're never gonna get rid of the pythons, never.